So today I want to share with you the method I use for taming hamsters. This method can be used for Syrians, Chinese, Winter Whites, Campbells and hybrids, but if you want to see my method on taming Roborowskis, just check out the link in the description. Now when you bring your hamster home for the first time, you'll need to give them two or three days to settle in before you start taming. And hamster treats are about to become your very best friend, so make sure you have plenty of them. The first step is to encourage your hamster to take treats from you. Now this is going to involve a hamster putting some trust into you, so it's very important that you're quiet and patient while doing this. Hold a treat near to the opening of their nest while the hamster is awake, and if you're lucky the hamster will take it, but if your hamster is reluctant, then place it down in the opening of the nest and move away until they've taken it. Repeat this several times whenever your hamster is awake over the next couple of days, and it shouldn't take long before they take the treat with little hesitation. When you feel your hamster is ready, it's time to move on to the next step. This time put several treats into the palm of your hand and again wait near the entrance of the nest. Your hamster will likely begin by only eating the treats within stretching distance so that they don't have to touch you. But the more you practice this each day, the less threatened they will feel and your hamster should begin placing their paws on you to get to the rest of the treats. You can even trail the treats up your wrist a little to encourage the hamster forward. This step will be complete when your hamster happily stands with all four paws on your hand while eating. Place a few treats inside a tube to encourage your hamster inside, and when they are inside, gently lift them up and into a traveller or taming box. Moving them like this will get them used to the feeling of being lifted up. When they're in the traveller or taming box, remove the tube and using some kind of utensil, like an old toothbrush, gently stroke your hamster. They may flinch at first from the touch, but as always, practice does make perfect, and soon they'll become accustomed and understand that they're not in any danger. If your hamster shows little or no reaction to the stroking, you can practice stroking them with your finger and then your hand, knowing it won't be at risk of being bitten. As they're used to the smell and presence of your hand by now, this step should be super easy. Using the tube method, lift your hamster up and place a hand flat at either end of the tube. Hopefully it won't take your hamster too long to venture out, and once they do, take away the tube and let them sit on your palm. Place your other hand next to the hamster and try to encourage them to walk onto it. You may need to use treats for this bit. Keep placing your hands next to each other until your hamster is happy to climb freely from one to the other. Daily practice with handling will improve your hamster's confidence tremendously. I'd recommend sticking with this step for at least a week if not longer before you move on. By now, your hamster should be very happy to be stroked and walk over you, so the very last step is teaching them to be picked up without panicking. To pick up your hamster, you'll need to use your whole hand. Your fingers will scoop around the body to support and protect the belly. While your hamster is sat on your palm, lift them up just a few inches. Their back legs may start to kick at this point, which is a natural reaction to being lifted. Place them back down onto your hand when they do this, so they're reassured that being picked up will not cause them any harm. Lift them up again and place your other hand under their bottom for support. Your hands will be in a cup shape supporting their entire body. This is the way you should always hold your hamster when carrying them around. This protects them and prevents dropping them if they move suddenly. Again you will need to practice this step a lot and it could take a few days or even weeks, but keep going with it and before you know it, you will have a very well behaved hamster. Now there are many reasons you will need to turn your hamster over to see their belly. The most obvious is during their weekly health check, so it's important that your hamster is happy for you to do this. Place all of your fingers around the body for support, and this time, place your index finger behind the head. Turn your hamster slowly over, and when they kick, turn them back slowly and let them rest for a moment. Now don't do this too much, as your hamster will get dizzy and cross, but practice at least once or twice a day. It will take a long time to teach them this, as the belly is a very vulnerable spot and they don't want it exposed. Most hamsters will learn to keep still long enough for you to perform a quick health check, but only a few will become fully tame to this. And there it is, that's the method that I use to tame my hamsters. Now there are no set rules for every hamster, and you may want to tweak the method slightly for your own pet, or use a completely different method. There is also no set time period. It could take days, weeks, or even months. It all depends on a combination of the hamster's personality and how much you persevere with taming. I personally feel that any hamster can be tamed as long as the owner keeps trying, no matter how long it takes. 
Special needs hamsters, those with neurological problems, or aggression prone hamsters will all take longer than others and will need methods changed and adapted to suit them. But no matter what, never give up on your hamster, as they may just surprise you with a side to their personality you never knew about. Now it's important to at least try to tame your hamster, as it's vital in order for you to be able to give them their regular health checks without being bitten or stressing the hamster out. Remember your hamster will need to be handled several times a week for its entire life to keep them tame and confident. So the very best of luck to everyone taming their hamsters. I certainly hope it goes smoothly, but don't be afraid to drop a message by if you ever have any questions or need any help. Take care guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!